Hi, happy to see you in a new video. Today in this video, I am going to show a demonstration on my new project that is home automation using Google Assistant in Thingsboard IoT platform. If you had seen a lot of automation projects, then have a look at this one. This is a different kind. In this project, I had connected a Google Voice Assistant device to the Thingsboard IoT platform. Thingsboard IoT platform is an 100% open source IoT platform. So the assistant have the capability to access and control the devices which are connected to the Thingsboard IoT platform. For testing, I am using two devices, my Raspberry Pi and my Node MCU to the Thingsboard IoT platform using MQTT protocol. Google Assistant SDK installed on my Linux machine and that too connected to Thingsboard IoT platform. User voice comments are sent to Thingsboard and Thingsboard will do the analytics based on the user query and process further actions. In this test scenario, Raspberry Pi will send the simulator sensor value to the Thingsboard. Similarly, Node MCU is connected with Relay module also connected to Thingsboard IoT platform. Simply using voice commands, I can control my relay channels connected with Node MCU and get Raspberry Pi sensor values. Next, we will see the demonstration of the project. Hi, this is the dashboard which I created for this project. This dashboard was created in Thingsboard IoT platform. As you can see, this dashboard, this two, these are widgets. So these widgets are all available in the Thingsboard itself. So before uh, getting into the demo, I will show my test setup. So, this is my test setup. So, basically, three devices I connected to the Thingsboard IoT platform. First one is my Raspberry Pi. It just sends a sensor value. That is, uh, the there is no physical sensor, so it's simulating some sensor values and it sends temperature, humidity, uh, air quality, and uh, light intensity values. And next device, which is uh, my Node MCU. This device also connected to the IoT uh, things about IoT platform, and it functions as a home automation. In based on the inputs from the things board, it will uh, switch the trigger the relays. And next, my device is my PC, which uh, which also connected to things board, and the Google As Assistant SDK, which I installed on the my PC. So using a microphone, I can set, I can give uh, commands, voice commands. So according to the voice commands, the PC will send that commands, get send that request to Thingsboard, and Thingsboard just analyze the command and based on the user command, it just forward to the devices. And uh, if, if I if I uh, give commands related to the Node MCU commands means. The things board will automatically forward that commands to node MCU and the node MCU according to the uh, triggering action it will trigger the relay. So this is my two channel relay it's a 5 volt two channel relay and um, so this flag I connected to the two channel so this is uh, this flag uh, is corresponding to the relay one and for simulating the project uh, what I did means uh, this uh, flag I connected to the one LED lamp over here and in the on the side uh, the relay 2 is here so the relay 2 flag uh, for simulating this I am just connected to a hair dryer so it simulates as a, like a fan functionality so so in this dashboard you can as you can see uh, this widget corresponding to the switch one whenever the switch one is on it get indicated on this widget and similarly for switch two it's a uh, indicated it's, it will be indicated in this in this widget and these are all uh, widgets uh, showing values of uh, sensors uh, the sensors uh, the raspberry pi is sending uh, temperature humidity values to the things board so based on the values it's showing the graphical way so this is the um, time chart value so it based on how how long it uh, updates it will show it's like a logging the time series value which I sent it from the Raspberry Pi. So uh, let's get into the demo I will show you how it works. Hey Google switch my light on. 
Turning the light on. As you can see, my light is on. Hey Google, switch my light off. Turning the light off. So similarly, the, now it simulated. Uh, now I triggered only the relay one. Similarly, relay two also works like this. Hey Google, switch fan on. Turning the fan on. As you can see. Even if you see the widget, it shows the one. Hey Google, switch fan off. Turning the fan off. So whenever the uh, switch get uh, the relay get triggered, uh, it should be indicated in this widget. And these are the temperature values. And similarly. Uh, through voice, I can get this uh, temperature humidity values from the things board. So let's I will show you. Hey Google, get my temperature sensor value. Got temperature value as thirty eight. As you can see, it uh, it uh, it take it just takes the value from the things board IoT platform and it will give to the uh, user. Similarly, all values it can deliver. Hey Google. Get my humidity sensor value. Got humidity value as 58. Hey Google. Get my device sensor value. Got humidity value as 52. Got temperature value as 25. Got light sensor value as 123. Got air quality sensor value as 58. Hey Google. What's the price of iPhone X? Here is some information from the web that might possibly help. Here is a summary from the website gadgets.ndtv.com. The iPhone 7 is priced at 39,900 rupees for the 32 gigabyte storage model and 49,900 rupees for the 128 gigabyte storage model. Hey Google, stop. Hey Google, feed the news. Here's the latest news. From Reuters TV, US at 3.21 PM today. With support from Atacama Funds, here are today's top stories. As you can see, the OK the Google CIA is uh, reading the Saudi news of uh, CNN. To I Stacey Abrams gives up her fight to become Georgia's next governor. Trump denies he's angry with the Mueller probe. This is Reuters Now. The CIA believes Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman... Hey Google, a... stop. So in this project, I installed a Google uh, Assistant SDK on my machine. It's in Python script. On the script, you can add... Uh, we, uh, the user can add uh, uh, custom user commands, voice commands. So based on the user commands, it can trigger the actions. So in this project, I'm mo I'm uh, mostly focused on how to integrate devices in the ThingsBoard IoT platform. Uh, you can add more functionalities in this uh, same uh, um, script. We reached the end of the video. In the next video, I will post how it works and how you can do it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.